Es ist Viertel vor sieben. Es ist halb zwölf. Es ist fünf nach zwei. Es ist fünf nach halb vier. Yes, this way of reading time is different from what we learned in the last chapter. This is the unofficial way. Let's learn further. Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German for Beginners. In the previous lesson you learned how to read time in an official manner. In this lesson you will learn how to read time in German in an unofficial manner. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for learning German for free and in the easiest way. We offer structured courses for A1, A2, B1 and B2 and a variety of topics from grammar and vocabulary to common mistakes one can make in German. You can also visit our page on patreon.com to get free worksheets, podcasts, transcripts, early access to our videos and more. Lektion 23 Inoffizieller Zeit To be able to read time in German, you have to be thorough with numbers. For the same, we would recommend you to go through lesson 3 and 4 of our video series and also watch the previous lesson. As we discussed before, Inoffizieller Zeit is used when you're talking with your friends or family. This is also known as Zeit in Umgangssprache. Once again, Zeit in Umgangssprache. So the question remains the same. Wie spät ist es? Don't forget to repeat after me. Es ist eins. Oder es ist um eins. Now, in the Umgangssprache, there is only one way to say the time, irrespective of the fact whether it's written in the format of 12-hour clock or a 24-hour clock. Let's do some more examples. Here's how you will say the full hour. Es ist zwei. You will also very commonly hear, es ist um zwei. Let's see another one. Es ist sechs. Since Germans don't use AM or PM, it should either be clear from context or you add words like morgens, abends, nachmittags, mittags to make it clear. Es ist zehn oder es ist abends um zehn. And the next one is es ist zwölf oder es ist mittags um zwölf. And when it's midnight, you can say es ist Mitternacht. And this way you would read out for all other hours of the day. Just remember not to use Uhr anywhere. Now let's do time with hours and minutes. Es ist fünf nach eins. Don't forget to repeat. Es ist zehn nach eins. Es ist viertel nach eins. Viertel here represents a quarter of an hour. Let's go to the next one. Es ist zwanzig nach eins. As you must have noticed, the word nach means after. Let's see a slightly different one now. Es ist zwanzig vor zwei. Es ist viertel vor zwei. Es ist zehn vor zwei. Es ist fünf vor zwei. As you all must have already noticed, vor is used to represent before. In some regions in Germany, 
Eastern and Southern, the word Viertel is used in more ways. You might come across time being read as Es ist Viertel zwei and not Viertel nach eins. Es ist drei Viertel zwei and not Viertel vor zwei. But these are sometimes not even known to Germans. It's very region-specific. Let's now move on and look at some other possibilities of reading or telling time which you will more commonly hear. Es ist halb zwei. This is a special case and it's not like English. In German, you say halb with the next R. In English, it's half past one, which means 30 minutes past one. Whereas in German, it's basically half an hour to two o'clock. So you say, es ist halb zwei. These sentences with an exclamation mark are not the same as in English. So you just learn them as it is. Es ist fünf vor halb zwei. Don't forget to repeat. Es ist fünf nach halb zwei. Let's do some other special cases. Es ist kurz vor fünf. Kurz can be used whenever it's one, two, three, four or five minutes before or after an hour. For the same thing you can also say Es ist gleich fünf. Another variation is Es ist fast fünf. The last three structures are used when it's about to be a complete R. In the other case, you would say Es ist kurz nach fünf. Let's see another example. Es ist kurz vor halb zehn. And here you would say, Es ist kurz nach halb zehn. Let's summarize. One thing you have to remember in the case of Umgangssprache or unofficial time, you don't exactly give the time of every minute. It's basically a rounded off figure. When it's a complete R, you say, Es ist six, Es ist sieben, etc. When it's the half, you are generally going to say Es ist halb sex, halb sieben, etc. Whenever it's 5, 10, 15 or 20 minutes past a specific hour, you would say fünf nach, zehn nach, etc. as depicted in the figure in blue color. And whenever 5, 10, 15 or 20 minutes before an hour, you would say fünf vor, Zehn vor, etc., as depicted in the green color. Now let's do an exercise to see how much you have understood. Übung. Wie spät ist es? And here's the first one. So the answer should be: Es ist Viertel vor neun. Let's do the next one. And the answer should be Es ist 20 nach 10. And the last one. Your answer should be Es ist kurz vor halb elf. Wonderful. Do let us know in the comments what your watch or clock says right now. To practice what you have learned, you can download a free worksheet from our page on patreon.com. You can also gain access to our transcripts by becoming a $1 patron and a $5 patron to get access to our podcasts. Danke. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still haven't. You can click on the bell to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!